My name is Anna Matic. I'm from Panoy and Prasad Architects. Uh, we practice in London. Uh, we are a, a sort of medium sized practice uh, of about 40 to 50 people and we work predominantly on public sector projects. In UK that means schools, hospitals, um, universities. We spend a lot of time consulting with our clients and understanding what they, what they really need from a project. Well, my particular interest in our practice is kind of encouraging young people to learn about systems and you know construction systems but also learning about project management and workflow and particularly to do with BIM and kind of encouraging BIM within the office. We have fairly complex projects so we've invested a lot in training of our staff, understanding how to manage uh, models. Um, in terms of uh, architecture, I am interested in sustainability and sort of really working with detail and construction and leading the, the construction team through a process so that we get a good product at the end, uh, so from all the way from the concept design, uh, carrying the kind of vision through to the end. We won this competition on the basis of um, uh, designing a new building for an existing quad at the university and the building will encourage the flow of uh, students through the quad. The centre of the building is a living stair which draws people in and up through the building and all the way around the teaching sort of rooms and up to the lecture theatre. The living stair is quite an exciting concept partly because it's, it's almost like a piece of sculpture inside Inside a building. It provides the central atrium and uh, it's basically a stair that changes in size and allows people to sit and gather and uh, you know informally learn or talk to their friends but also is, is, is a way of communicating between spaces. Our vision is to create this space that is without much structure or visible structure and uh, we're using Archicad to model the sculptural elements. Working in an open beam way definitely helps us um, create a, a piece that is you know, fully controlled by us in terms of design, but also will appear as our vision initially. I'm part of a, a group uh, called Women in BIM. Um, it's a UK-based group which gathers uh, not just architects but actually all women who practice in a diverse set of industries but are all interested in BIM. It's to do with encouraging younger women to sort of participate in what is usually seen as quite a techie world uh, and possibly sometimes a little bit of a male world, uh, which it doesn't have to be. Uh, I think to understand BIM and to be able to both an architect and also somebody who understands technology and how the processes work it really empowers uh, 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 women and people generally. I have to say, uh, working with Graphisoft has been uh, fantastic because there is uh, there is an element of support uh, either by phone or you know um, sort of um, um, visits to to our office and and look, looking at how our systems work, resolving problems uh, usually with maybe uh, slightly models that are too heavy and, uh, and, and maybe workflows that don't quite you know, uh, work as well as possible. So um, I think the, the, the support is fantastic but the other aspect of it, uh, of working with Archicad and Graphisoft is that uh, there are a lot of groups uh, uh, for knowledge share. So there is a key user group, uh, there is also a, a sort of technical feedback back to the software engineers which I think is fantastic. So if we think that something needs to be improved, we can kind of feedback to Graphisoft, which I, I don't know whether that's possible in other softwares, but, but I really appreciate that.